Hey there, Prime Coders. Welcome back to Prime Coding. I know you were demanding for sub array questions, and I am here with a pretty good hard work, guys. Okay, pattern wise, I am not dumping every question on a sheet. I arranged it in specific techniques because if I directly put all the problems into the sheet without any context, you will just end up solving everything and you will not remember anything. But the objective of your practice should be if you found any new question as well, but if you know the technique how you can solve any subarray problem, then definitely you, the new question you can solve it easily. So in this video, we'll let you know all the subarray questions and how you can practice it and totally it is pattern and topic wise so without wasting time i know that you end up finding these types of problem into your exams is it finding maximum subarray find continuous subarray find subarray with k distinct values longest palindromic substring longest ascending subarray and much more but you are not able to solve those problems because you don't know the technique so let's deal with it in pattern wise format okay so very first in the list is sliding window so you might wonder Aditya, how many patterns we usually have we have only four pattern that i can find by researching throughout the dcs and qt the essential the prime role interviews much more and and i end up getting the four four patterns that you need to briefly prepare okay so sliding window which is one of the type is shrink window and reset pointer by rules if you remember what do you mean by sliding window okay so you have an array like this okay so what you can do you can either put your pointer here or Let's say you put your I pointer here and you put your J pointer here and until unless your condition has been satisfied, please increase the window size, please increase the window size, increase the window size and when you feel that your sum is greater than whatever you need to, then decrease your window size, then decrease your window size, then this particular would be your window size. So preparing or maintaining the window throughout the uh, traversals is basically a sliding window approach okay so in this particular approach what all questions you need to prepare the five question that i listed here is available on the internet okay you just need to write the same thing longest substring without repeating characters you will get it i am not telling you that these problems are very easy but these problems are very easy to remember if you know or if you practice techniques on this problem firstly try to learn the technique okay I bet you are if you are new to this sub array industry then definitely you feel difficulty see the tutorials present on the internet then write the notes how you can how you had solved this problem so that you can observe the pattern underlying between these types of questions is it so yes I would say the whole problem set is around easy medium to medium type it is not that easy questions or also if in TCS and QT subarray problem comes into the picture, it would be not easy. Okay, so minimum size subarray, longest substring, at most k distant character, longest subarray with less than or equivalent to k of fruits into basket, also known as longest substring with two distinct characters. So these are the questions that comes into the sliding window, shrink window, recent pointer by rules. Okay. Now, the second category of sliding window is hash maps, okay, where you have a key value pair to store, then how you can do it, what would be the operation, the following questions are listed here, okay, so longest substring with at most k distinct character, okay, you might be this question is available on elite code or you can find this question on GFG code forces and much more. so you just a one google search away so try to utilize this sheet whatever i am creating it i will provide you the link of this definitely in the uh, i would say in telegram group or in the description if it allows me to so longest substring with exactly k distinct character or find all anagrams in a string so i try to write this title name because if you willing to solve all the sliding window problem pattern wise then definitely you end up getting everything at a place okay you just need to select it open it in a chrome and you will end up having the question into your hand you just need to prepare it okay so now massive success rate for any tcs essential camp jemini cognizant we got because we convert your interview opportunity into the offer letter so that you can make your parents proud here you will get one hour of detail technical session and hr and managerial preparation see it will take your whole session first how we how you are speaking how you're talking what is your exact level in your core subject do you know your resume or not after 
touching everything asking you acha mai the problem will start giving you resume review and personalized feedback as well okay which will help you to uh, get to know where you are lagging and how you can improve yourself resume review will let you know how you can improve your resume what all actually you didn't and what should not be there how you can optimize a bit in personalized feedback doubt solving guidance mentorship talking about the weakness that we recognize in you when we are taking your mock session everything you name it and you will get it on the prime coding dot in website where we'll transform your interview opportunity so do check this out so prefix some with hash map or sub arrays now the four sets of crop problem which is situated with this particular subject is sub array sum equivalent to k count of sub array with sum divisible by k maximum size sub array sum equivalent to k and sub array product less than k as you can see many times sub array sub array comes into picture now i think this will be the last video on sub array because covering everything okay and if i get a good demand in the description that you need solution as well it will take time because i guess if you take i guess 225 question is there it takes time to create but definitely i will put into this channel so yes do subscribe it if you have not and like this video okay so let's move towards that dynamic programming now if you talk if you talk about sub array problems so why how you can forget about the sub sequence problems and much more so i got many dp problems guys many dp problems but what i observe is as per with the context that we are discussing on this question will satisfied okay so maximum sum of non adjacent element where let's say you have 1 2 3 4 5 and how you can create a maximum sum on non adjacent what do you mean by adjacent so one is adjacent to 2 and three is adjacent to 2 so what would be the highest sum you can perform okay so you need to find that so that needs continuous finding every possibilities now if continuous Uh, word come into the problem solving you know you need to use recursion right away so if you use recursion your time complexity will be very high but you need to reduce a bit how you can reduce it by using dp by using dp guys that's why problem is that all palindromic substrings maximum length of repeated array minimum path in a grid these question was also asked on april shift in tcs and qt if you remember if you not saw all shift tcs and qt uh, problem solution all i would say all tcs and qt problem or shift problems okay if you write you will end up getting the playlist that i created for all shifts okay you do check that out the very first video contains the minimum path sum in a grid okay that was i guess a unique path sum but it is a minimum path sum so there is a some changes present in this particular thing okay so you need to be very thorough very very thorough with the dp program because if if you comes under the unlucky category of people who will end up having the dp for sure because tcs conducts many many oas so one of the oas will definitely have dp because i when i was going solving continuously in april and june i found that there is only one shift where dp problem come into the game okay so if you are lucky enough you will not get it but if you are not lucky then you can expect the dp problem in your exam okay so yes please join a telegram group because i you will get all tcs and qt problems your peers your peers will share all experience and you will also share your interview experience online assessments so that your peers can prepare learn from each other network create network with each other so you will get to know about what is actually happening in their college and what is the situation of market or job market you can either perform interaction uh, active group i would say more than 900 people always active in my group notes notes whatever i use to teach in this video you will find notes in that telegram group because there there is a pinned message just belong side of my title like prime coding it is written so here would be the pinned message like this you need to click it one there would be a two sliders okay this is the number of messages which is pinned if you click one two three times you will end up having the drive link where i uploaded all the notes company wise which will definitely help you to prepare at the last moment or help you to revise okay so the link of the telegram group is in the description do check this out join it 
and watched all the notes, interact with your people and much more. Okay, if you want to prepare for TCS and QT, an extensive, an extensive series being created where all the problems has been solved. Interview preparation materials also available on it. As you can see on Accenture as well, all shift solution, notes, roadmap, and interview questions and much more you can find in the Accenture series. Okay, and I uploaded Capgemini, Cognizant, TCS and QT coding sheet videos on YouTube as well as I uploaded on a Telegram. If you have not joined that, please join. There is a Rose bot will welcome you with a drive link if you, have, if you are a new member on our Telegram group for sure. Otherwise, you can click on print message. And if you see the Cognizant created everything that you need to know about Cognizant and how you can ace it. Hiring alert we put occasionally, but those hiring alert are pretty natural. Okay, so if if you want to ease your whole placement journey so do subscribe to our channel if you have not because i can see most of the 60 percent of the people not subscribe the channel but look the video and get the insight it takes a lot of efforts so i appreciate your like button will definitely motivate you to bring more content like this and share with your friends so that your friend can also be get benefited with all these content and so that he can create his future or her future bright so we'll meet you with a new video soon.